Today I'm going to talk about the left three squares on Osterwalder's business model canvas, uh, and I'm going to do that talking about MTV, the agency. MTV does a lot of stuff, um, but one of those pieces is helping other brands figure out how to be cool and hip and communicate with the youth. And so you can take your your advertising campaign, your product launch, whatever, to MTV, and they'll help you turn it into something that can be marketed to um, to the young demographics. Uh, in doing that, you know, some of these things they do themselves in-house, um, some they outsource to partners, probably more than you would think, and they have some resources which enable them to deliver this value proposition. Um, so their resources are um, an either an actual or an implied relationship with musicians, uh, and then they've also got an understanding of what makes something cool. Um, that's an ugly card, but you get what I mean. The activities that they do themselves is actually mostly sourcing um, sourcing partners and deals. So they keep the sales internal. They keep a lot of the, well, some amount of the creative internal. Um, and so basically, there it's deal flow and kind of maintaining this image of themselves. So that's you know their own brand as the people in the world who who understand youth. Um, now there's a lot of other stuff that needs to be done that they aren't doing themselves in order to deliver an ad campaign. Um, so you've got you've got all the media management, which for that they'll go to. Um, a media agency when they need to. They've got the actual um, the actual programming. So for there, they'll go to um, technical agency, tech agency. Um, sometimes they'll even go to individual programmers um, that they work with, and you know, then for distribution, for getting it out there, um, kind of like all brands these days, they're making heavy use of. Um, Facebook and other platforms, which are similar. Um, so, what they're actually doing in the end, even though kind of their value proposition is that they're a creative agency or a media agency, they can sell themselves in both ways, thanks to their partners, uh, who will help you kind of craft your message so that it's cool and then get it in front of the right people, um, the youth who will respond well to it, um, possibly with some association to musicians. Almost none of that is done themselves. Pretty much all they're doing is is sales and image maintenance. And as I said, they also do um, sort of the, the the creative overseers. Like they do know their stuff. So although they're not um, building it or distributing it themselves, they they really understand kind of what should be done, and that enables them to choose the right partners and and you know manage the manage the expenses a little bit. A lot of startups will kind of look at their value proposition and then try to do everything themselves. And I, I think looking at the more mature companies like MTV shows you that, that you really don't need to. If there's something that makes you unique, and in this case it's MTV's image, um, you really want to double down on that. And if it's possible, outsource everything else you possibly can to other partners. Um, you know, if any number of tech agencies could be doing the programming you're doing, um, and you can build it into your business model that, that allows you to price their costs in, um, then you know you're in a great place and you can really focus on what makes you special instead of trying to do everything all at once.